Hello and welcome back to my channel. Winter is here. Can GBVRs functions in the winter or not? We don't know. It's still a hot debate. Some people are saying yes, some people are saying no. So today we're going to be just testing out the CO2. I have it right there in the freezer. It is at 6 Fahrenheit, minus 14 Celsius. Let's see how my ViperTech is going to uh, perform with the ViperTech Max. Uh, my predictions are that it's going to have a drop of 30 to 50 FPS. Um, I think it's going to run okay FPS wise because the mags are super cold and the CO2 tank is super cold. Therefore, you can put more CO2 into the mag. But I will say in full, full auto, it will run a little bit sluggish. The FPS my predictions are it's not going to have a huge drop off, but hey, it might be wrong. This is what we're here for, so let's find out. We're going to be running two different trials. One is going to be with M16. It has a light uh, bulk carrier and also light, light buffer. It's a six ounce buffer. Let's see how it's going to perform FPS wise. And then also the uh, infamous Mark 18 with a 10 ounce buffer and a super heavy uh, bulk carrier, which is about around 12 ounces. All right, this is fresh out of the freezer. You can see this is super cold um, in the mag. Look at this, this is freezing cold. My prediction right now, if I'm gonna be putting in the CO2, I think the seals inside are so cold, so tight that it's gonna leak. And let's see what's gonna happen. Yep, that's what I thought. It's not holding it in. Oh, let's try to shoot it. All right, shooting point two. Jesus Christ. Wow, this function's good. I, I didn't, wow. Okay, it, damn, all right. Had some little recoil with barely any CO2, super cold. And the first shot was 300 FPS. The second one went down to 278. Let's see if we shoot some more. What's gonna happen? Back to 300, 278, uh, 280, uh, 282. Man, this function's good. Okay, let's do the Mark 18. Damn. Really didn't expect that, that's crazy. The drop off is big, but about 100 FPS, more than I thought, but the cycling is good. Okay. See what we got here. Still works good. We got 338. 338. Damn. And it locked back. Jesus Christ. This is insane. Hey. I, 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 I am really blown away by it. Okay. Good. Good. One more time. Let's see what we got now. 344, 360, at uh, 336. Man, and still, it locked back. Let's see how it's gonna run full auto. Dang, it's gonna be really sluggish. Damn. Okay, okay. I, I didn't expect that. Mind you, 12 ounce bulk carrier, 10 ounce uh, buffer, and it, this, this thing rocks. Let's see how many FPS do we still have left in here. 322. There we go. Bolt lock back in as well. Usually I got around 400 FPS with, uh, with both of them. Uh, this one is actually 400. And then the M16 is about, I don't know, a little bit less. 380, 390, something like that. But man, you, you can really make it work. Um... I have another mag 
I'm gonna fill that one up right now because this one is warming up slowly. And then we're gonna do a, uh, a full auto test. Let's see how the three round burst works. This one. I mean, seriously? Jesus Christ. This is insane. This is insane. All right, let's see what we got. FPS, what we got? Two eighty nine. I, I. You can use them all day long. This this is this is insane. This, this I am really surprised. You know what? We're gonna do something else now. I don't want to pause the video because then you guys might think, well, it's been a long time. The mag warmed up. Let's see how many rounds we actually get get out of it. And I'm going to use the M16 because the weight is probably going to be a little bit closer to uh, what most of you people are using. Okay, lock and load it. And let's turn it back on. All right. 300, 299, 270, 257, 254, 268. Okay. Yep, it's going down. 13. Okay. It's going down. So let's, you see, this one's still pretty cold. Let's see what happens right now. Oh, look at this. We can. Okay, this is the match. We can fill it up. It's not leaking. Let's fill it up all the way again. Okay, there we go. And let's see what we get. 320, 312, 14, 309. 299. Uh oh, there we go. After 20, 20 rounds, it's getting a little choked up. Give it some time to recover. Let's do the last burst. Oh. Thirty-six rounds, man, I, man, I, 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 I'm, it performed, it performed way better than I thought it would. I mean, think about it. This is six Fahrenheit minus fourteen Celsius. This is crazy. Now I'm gonna go bring in my, uh, bring my other mag, the one that is still in the freezer. We're gonna fill it up with this one again and let's see what happens. All right, and we're back. This is the mag I just got out of the freezer. Super cold. 6 Fahrenheit, minus 14 Celsius, and let's see how it works. So I'm assuming we're going to have the same issue again. Yep. Yep, look at this. It doesn't want to take it. So... In this case, we're going to warm this up a little bit. All right, let's try it again. Nope. It's still too cold. It's all coming out. You see that? So there's not enough pressure for the seal to close. And this one is just frozen. All right, so that's the issue we're gonna we're gonna face most likely. Just make sure if you have the mags, have them in the car, have them warm. I get I guess a little bit warmer, and then uh, fill them up or have them already filled when you get there. I'm gonna do now something really quick. I'm gonna warm this up a little bit with uh, some warm water and let's see how it works.
All right, I warmed it up a little bit with water. It kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. I hope the mag didn't get too hot. Let's see how it works. There we go. It's coming out just a tiny little bit, but let's see what we get. Damn it. All right, let's hurry up. It's coming out. shoot the whole mag out of it um mind you 12 ounces 10, 12 ounce of ball carrier 10 ounce uh of buffer this is insane this seems to not leak anymore and we have a whole mag we dumped it out full auto which is the worst for fuel gas consumption it uses the most let's see what we get with single shots 261, 261, 259, 258. I mean, it just doesn't want to walk back. But I think that's the mag's issue. All right, what's the verdict? Can you use a GBVR in the wintertime in extreme cold using CO2, using the devil's mind? Yes, you absolutely can. Now, please keep in mind, I am using a very heavy setup. The Mark 18 is the heaviest setup I have. The ball carrier is 12 ounces, and then also the buffer is 10 ounces. This is super heavyweight. Then also on top of that, the Vipertex have a really hard um, hammer spring, and also a uh, buffer spring is super hard. You can make it much lighter. Even if you have a Vipertex, you can change the, um, the hammer spring to a weaker one. You can also put a weaker buffer spring to make it work even, uh, even better. And uh, because, the vi because the buffer spring now is too weak, your uh, rate of fire is gonna go down. However, what you can use is a um, speed buffer setup. So what that does is you're gonna have a small little spring right here sitting in the back. So what happens is when the ball travels back, it hits that and it helps the buffer spring with that speed buffer to slam the whole thing to the front so your uh, rate of fire is gonna go up again. What we witnessed was the mag leaking out of the output valve. That was because there wasn't enough pressure to hold that close, to hold that shut, because from the input valve, it was just seeping out. So that one was frozen. It wasn't good. So what you have to do is you have to warm it up a little bit. You have to do certain things to it. I don't know what, but it, it, it's gonna work. However, you have to keep in mind, I. I had them empty and I put them in the freezer. Most likely what's gonna to happen to you if you're ever out there playing in such cold weather, you will drive there with the car. So your tank and your mags are going to be in the car. So it's gonna be warmer. So for the very first game, you're gonna be fine. The second game, that's gonna be then the question, is it gonna work or not? I'm suspecting it will because Everything is working from the get-go and there's already pressure in there and you can just um, tap, tap it off. Usually I don't do that with CO2, uh, with the devil's mug, because it doesn't really work. You just have to empty everything out. But since it's already that cold and there's not going to be that much pressure, you're going to be fine with doing that. They work. They work. They work fantastically. I was really surprised. So guys, all the GBBR fanboys do not get rid of your GBBRs. Play them in winter and enjoy the heck out of them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day and happy holidays. Now, before we go, I got two more things for you guys. If you have a lighter setup on your GBBR, like you most likely do, you're gonna have more shots per man, probably even double the numbers that I did. And also the FPS, that's not gonna drop off as crazy as it did with mine. Second thing is, have a nozzle for winter only. So you're still gonna have the high FPS numbers and the 400, so you still have a far reach.